The art of basket weaving goes back thousands of years. Sadly, thanks to modern machinery, there aren't many weavers left. And few, if any, have the expertise of Sue Williams. Cindy Carter visited the Middle Tennessee artist recently and found out why she has a basket full of awards. Sue Williams sets out from her country home and heads deep into the woods of Tennessee, where the white oaks grow tall and true. We have a lot of varieties of oak, but white oak is the only one. The only one indeed, when you're an award-winning white oak basket maker and artist. But baskets is my thing. For decades, Sue's strong hands and nimble fingers have weaved together hundreds of beautiful and intricate white oak baskets. She's an expert. And the growth rings go this way. She's an artist. She's the keeper of a folk tradition rooted in nearby Cannon County, part of a history that grew out of necessity. And most of my baskets are considered egg baskets. And an egg basket people used during the Depression and afterwards when there was no work away from home. And they took the basket to the hen house, gathered the eggs. Sue also makes the larger market baskets, which families once used to carry garden vegetables to and from the local market. And I think you'll see that in most of my baskets. Some of the heartwood is darker than others. During the Depression, Cannon County folks realized that they could also make these baskets to sell or trade for goods. The white oak was a way forward. They could break it down and pull it by growth rings, and then they could use it they could bottom chairs, they could make baskets. So Cannon County was sort of known, baskets, chairs, and whiskey. And then they would take that out of the county to sell. As time passed, the now famous Cannon County white oak baskets transitioned from function to art. And Sue's artwork is considered among the elite. She whittles and weaves her white oak baskets with extra care. After everything is broke down and all supplies are ready, you scrape the weavers. You whittle for the ribs. You have to form the handle and the rim. So Miss Sue, this is a really intricate process. How long does it take to make these baskets? This one is my Gertie Sue basket. It takes week and a half to two weeks. This is my egg basket. I can make it in a week. And how about Big Bertha? Big Bertha, I spent six to six and a half years. Sue dedicates so much time and effort to her craft, she admits when customers come around, it can be hard letting go. I had a lady that came from Seattle, Washington. She went to the art center in Cannon County and she looked around and I had one basket down there. Well, they called and asked, could she come to my house? I said, sure, send her. She came in and she said, I want that, 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 and that. And I said, wait a minute. <laughs> so how can you tell if your basket is Cannon County? Well, Miss Sue says every basket making region and community has a unique signature tie, this is how you can tell it's Cannon County. I'd always do the Cannon County tie, and that's like an X with a loop over the top. And when Sue isn't piecing together the perfect Cannon County white oak basket, she's sharing her years of experience with others. I enjoy doing it, but I also enjoy teaching it. It's wonderful to meet all the people that are interested it's also wonderful, Sue says, to know that she's teaching a new generation a powerful art form that should be preserved. I want to pass on the tradition. Sue's baskets carry that tradition of folklore art fashioned from a Tennessee white oak. <laughs>